Hello everyone, it's me, Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and today I would like to share with you another trading plan uh, based on a Forex uh, currency pair. Now, uh, usually we share those plans every week. <clears throat> we tend to look at a few different time frames, so it's a multi-time frame analysis and uh, that is what we are going to do uh, today. The plan itself will be posted on uh, our um, trading view uh, channel uh, so you can track its development also there in the description you can find uh, information about the zones uh, that we are using in this plan and uh, let's not forget that on our telegram channel you can find live signals based on the plan itself so without further ado let's get started with the plan what uh, you're currently looking at is the GBP CAT currency pair. Uh, this is the daily time frame. We'll start from there, move to the H4, and then move to the M30 time frame. So, on the daily time frame, uh, what we are witnessing here uh, is a break of the bottom of this uh, range, uh, which uh, was formed uh, since 27th of February, so, so quite, uh, quite a long range. You can see how the price behaved inside that area. And uh, currently we are seeing a break, but there is still time until the daily candle closes. We might actually uh, see the price reverse and get back inside of the range. Uh, I also marked here this daily support area down here, uh, which is formed by uh, those two uh, tests, so to say. And since then the price hasn't reached it, so this will be uh, my main target. You can see how the price moved uh, here, made an upswing, then a nice downtrend on daily, which reached to that area, a small bounce, and another um, small downtrend, and from there, this huge uptrend started. So, uh, we actually had uh, two bounces, or you can say that a double bottom was formed here, on this area before the price continued up, entered inside of this range and uh, that is why I will be expecting for the price if of course the range is broken and the downtrend continues the price to reach to that area before we see uh, probably some reversal. Now this is the daily time frame as I said the first scenario for me is a break of the bottom of this range, daily range and continuation of the already started downtrend up, up to this daily support area. Of course, the second scenario is for the price to remain inside of the range, so this candle to close inside of the range, and we might see an uptrend here uh, for a price moving uh, back up to, up to the uh, top, top area of the range or the ceiling of the range. In both uh, scenarios, I'm planning to exploit the move so either a sell or buy, so this plan is basically a two-way scenario plan. Let's move down to the H4 time frame and see what's happening there. Okay, an interesting thing here, you can see how uh, the price actually uh, went out of the range itself on H4, but quickly retraced. Now, uh, currently we are standing again at those H4 tops here. And what else I notice here is that uh, the price already formed this uh, sort of a uh, small range here. I'll just make this a bit more, yeah, okay, so that's better. Uh, it formed this, you can see the Bollinger Bands, it formed this small uh, box sort of thing. Uh, let's go with a square formation. And uh, this is great because uh, when a square, square formation is formed exactly at the top or bottom of a range, uh, a break of this uh, box can actually tell us that the overall range will be broken and uh, it can give us a better opportunity to enter uh, for the upcoming either uptrend or downtrend wave. Also, this box can give us information if uh, we see a reversal, so in our case, uh, if the price goes up from here, doesn't break the bottom of this uh, square formation and goes up and breaks the top of the formation, we can assume that 
obviously the range continues and the price might reach the uh, top area of this daily range. Uh, so in another case, if the bottom of this uh, square formation is broken on H4, we can expect the price to uh, continue further down, probably reaching to our daily support in a matter of a few days. Uh, this is the main thing I will be watching um, <clears throat> on the H4. Of course, you can take advantage of something else as well. You can build a trend channel um, because the new downtrend started from here after this uptrend wave. You can build a downtrend channel and uh, for example, if the price here doesn't break the bottom of this box and reverses uh, and goes above this trend channel, uh, you can look for an entry right here instead of waiting for the price to uh, break the top of this box uh, because especially if the daily candle closes inside of the range because this is a double confirmation that the range for now will continue. Uh, if the box is broken, uh, the bottom of the box is broken, I will look for entry points uh, after the break on H4. Uh, since uh, H4 trades, uh, you can uh, put a bigger stop loss, which gives you and uh, the price enough uh, room to breathe and for the uh, trend to develop. Uh, I'll just go through N30 as well for those of you who prefer to uh, make some uh, maybe intraday trades or uh, position themselves even better on the market. Uh, let me delete a few of those things. Now on the M30 we can see that uh, we actually already um, missed uh, one of the in the beginning of the move. It was here after this uh, small consolidation of box again was broken. So an entry here would have been nice for a possibility for uh, the price to reach somewhere here to the bottom line of this uh, downtrend channel. From there we might see a reversal and then a new uh, downtrend move. Uh, this is also good because, uh, for example, if we see a break of the overall square on H4, uh, we already saw it on M30, if it's confirmed on the H4, we can expect the downtrend to continue at least to here and uh, from there most likely we will see a correction uh, on M30. It might, might not go all the way back to the broken uh, square formation on H4, but still we'll uh, for sure see um, a, a correction and after the correction is finished you can exploit and enter for the next downtrend move. Uh, of course you can do that all the way until the price reaches the uh, daily, daily support area down here which will be the main target. This is it on this plan, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to click subscribe and the little bell button so you get notified when we post some new content. Uh, now we are mainly focusing ourselves on YouTube, so we'll give you not only trading plans but a lot of additional uh, both educational and entertainment content. So check it out, click the bell button so you get notified, comment if you have any questions and Give us your upvotes, those uh, really help us grow. Uh, again, the plan will be posted on TradingView, you can see the progress there and live signups will be posted in our Telegram channel, which is completely free and you can join it through the link below this video. Thank you very much, I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you a profitable trading week.